exercise 23. In this exercise, we take a look at uh, Creo 2.0's capabilities with conical sheet metal parts. Also, we're going to insert some text, and uh, so basically it'll be cut through like that. So let's take a look at that. Start with a new part file, and start with actually a solid part, not a sheet metal part. Call it E23, hit OK. We'll begin on our front plane and go to Extrude. Select the Circle tool and click on the center and drag out a circle. Dimension it at two and a half inches in diameter. Hit OK and I'll rotate it a bit. Set it to 2.5 inches depth and then go to Options and Add Taper. Set it to a negative 13 degree taper and hit the green check. And there we have our cone. Now we need to create a sheet metal part from it. So over here under Model, Operations, click on Convert to Sheet Metal. Go to Shell and Control select both the front and back faces, holding Control, so it could hollow out and shell that. Set the wall thickness to 0.062 for the sheet metal. Hit Enter and the green check mark. Now go ahead and select the front plane again and start a new sketch. Draw a center line at the origin straight up, which is vertical. Take the line tool and draw a line from up here to the center. Click, drag it up again, and then connect at the top. And the middle click. Go to the normal dimension tool, click on the top line and the center, and on the left click. Oops, let's try that one more time. Just click on the line and then left and then uh, middle click. Okay, in this case, it's, it needs to be. Um, Make it two inches high, and unfortunately, we see that it, it uh, flies off the side here. So let's hit undo. My my mistake. I was hoping to get it dimension here. Let's just delete that dimension. In the meantime, we need to set this up. Uh, and actually, there is a dimension there. We can just uh, change it to one point two five. But we need to make these symmetric on both ends. So what we need to do is select the symmetric tool. Select the top corner here, the top corner over on the left side, and then the center line. It should make it symmetric in between. Now go back to the normal dimension and add an angle dimension in between the two of one degree. So it's just cutting out a little sliver. Now you can hit OK and go to Extrude. And it should be set to Extrude Cut. And just set it to through all. And hit the green check mark to apply. So now there's a little cut in between there. At this point, we could actually click unbend and it will flatten it for us. And there's our flat pattern. Now, if we wanted to put some sort of design on there, well, this is just for fun, we could go to the, um, let's go to sketch and select this face and we'll go normal too. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and take the arc tool, find the three-point arc, and kind of follow this arc a little bit. I could have offset it, but I'm going to go ahead and just draw it like so. Then once it's drawn, right-click on it and change it to construction. At this point now, we could go and we could find the text tool. Click right on this corner here, drag it up. And maybe angle it a little bit to follow the sheet metal and give it a height. And then here, uh, go ahead and type in name, or in this case, be careful what you type in because if there's a, a gap, like let's say if you type an A in or an O, the center portion of the O is going to be disconnected from the rest of the sheet metal part. If that's the case, um, you might have to modify 
and put little inserts in. I don't know if it might be an issue though with, um, with this. Anyhow, as long as you don't have anything like that, it's, it shouldn't be an issue. Click on place line curve, select the actual curve that we want it on, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, flip it. Right here is the flip switch. So we can see it on the inside. Now, I'm going to go ahead and change the font 3D here to something else. I'm going to actually go with um, Omega Black or Omega Bold. Hit OK. Now, to shorten it, make it a little bit smaller. I'll change this dimension here. We'll just change it to 1. Actually, uh, Point seven five, right like that. Maybe point uh, nine. All right, and there it is. Now we could just uh, hit OK, go to extrude, flip the direction so it cuts into the part. It's usually not a good sign if you don't see a preview. So unfortunately, it's not. It's probably going to fail. And that might be because this is on this edge here. So I'm going to cancel out of there. Just make sure that we'd see it cut through. So we could go in and edit this text. Just right click on the sketch, edit definition. And let's change that back to one so they don't overlap the lines. I think that should work. Okay, now let's go to extrude. Flip the direction. Still not seeing it in the preview, which is making me a little bit nervous. Let's go through all. Yeah, fortunately, it seemed to work on my demo. Um, it might be the text is a little too complex here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just delete that. Or I could go in and just edit the text. Pick a different text here. So I'm going to go back to something that's uh, like font 3D. Let's give that a shot. If this doesn't work, we're going to call it a day. There we go. Okay, hit apply. And now I'm going to go ahead and bend back. Should fold it up, preview. There it is. Our conical sheet metal part. And this concludes exercise 23.